Hello everyone, this is Kapil Reddy, founder and CEO of Zoopoli. The whole idea of this series is to make sure we want to publish or uh, share some ideas which we thought would be quite useful for you in your learning journey. As we keep iterating, the fundamental premise on which Zoopoli is built lies on the fact that all of us are lifelong learners. And right now we don't have one unified tool which can be that go-to tool for every lifelong learner out there. And we are set out to build it. Simply put, Zoopoli is that unified learning tool for all your learning and productivity needs. Now, let's jump into the topic. Yeah, so I think we've kind of discussed a lot that on a daily basis, we are reading or we are consuming a lot of content. But what about the retention? Why are we not able to retain a lot of that information which we are consuming? So why is there a gap? So for that, maybe we can just quickly uh, you know, check out a framework which will help us to retain as much of the content which we have consumed. Of course, there is a lot of content which is quite irrelevant to us. But at the same time, there is some content which gets us excited and we probably want to delve deeper into it. And that's exactly what we'll try and uh, address uh, to a great extent today. So one thing I would like to tell is, once you have a strategic goal, like let's say you want to get a better increment in your salary or you want to master a particular subject, or let's say you want to give a speech, you want to teach somebody. Again, teaching is one of the best ways of learning. Whatever it can be, just have a certain goal. I think that is what will actually motivate you to learn in a much interesting way. Uh, that's exactly what you could do. And again, coming back to the retention part, see, the best part is, let's say you uh, read about something. The moment you learn something, if you get excited about it, just have a quick note. Just note it down as and when you have. No, don't have like a structure or anything. Just jot down your thoughts in the fastest way possible. After you jot down, just maybe again research, tell more into it, maybe open new tabs into it, and then just keep checking. But as and when you get, just first jot down the thoughts. Because once you write down all your thoughts, the cognitive load reduces and you'll focus more on consuming the content. So after you're done learning or reading about a particular topic, what you'll do is just pick out all the notes which you have taken. From that, it's probably like, you know, a bunch of dots which are misaligned. So try to connect the dots. And once you connect the dots, it will present a particular picture. And after that, if you really want to retain it, just uh, try to relate that particular uh, thing or particular subject to something which you have experienced in your real life or something which you have read uh, previously. Something like, let's say, for example, Bitcoin. Uh, just maybe relate it with a sound, like uh, how you get like a you know sound when a bunch of coins are put out there. So something like this. Just try to relate that particular topic to a, an instant or an incident which you probably strongly remember. So in this way, there are higher chances is that you can actually retain a particular thing. See, simply put, mind is also like a muscle and you need to keep exercising it. If you just grow it and just leave it, it will just be shapeless. Same way, uh, mind will not be of much use if you actually, you know, just don't keep exercising it. Again, by exercise, mental exercise or mind exercise is all about having certain frameworks, having that curiosity, having that desire to learn something and do it in a much more faster way. In this way, trust me, I think you can learn in a much more progressive way and what all you have learned can be retained for a longer time. Again, right now if you see, that's the process which is broken, right? Like you have all of these different things spread across in different places. So ideally, instead of being in one single place, you're just spread across in five different places at the same time. And that's creating chaos and most importantly, that's creating that uh, loss of concentration, uh, which is probably the biggest problem. Problem. And that's exactly what Zoopoli can help you with. We have all these functional tools which will be super handy for you and just on a click of a button, you'll be able to access each of them. So keep watching the space as and when we make some launch announcements and I'm pretty sure that you'll be uh, super appreciative of the product which you're trying to build. So really looking forward to it. In the meantime, please do subscribe to this channel and do let us know your feedback and any other topics which we need to cover. Going forward, we'll cover most of these hidden truths or you know most of these frameworks which are not quite popular. But once you try to master it, you'll be a much better learner. End of it, our simple goal is to make everyone a productive and efficient learner. See you until next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.